All right, improving usability. In addition to doing our user testing, what is one of the things that I told you I'm going to be repeating over and over and over and over again in this class? How do we improve usability? What's the number one thing we want to do? You want to know who your users are, right? You want to take a user-centered approach. Remember, a user-centered approach is not just usability testing. It's starting with including your users from when? The middle of your design process? No. From when? The beginning. The beginning. I know, I was about to go to the end, and then you only have one more answer left. All right, you have to include them from the beginning. Remember, you need to know who your users are. What is it that they're trying to do, particularly when it comes to their goals? Right? So we want to look at their goals. We want to take a user-centered design approach, a goal-centered design approach. We want to make sure we have artifacts we can test again, like prototypes. Even when it's something as simple as our paper prototype. You guys remember that? Did you enjoy having your paper prototype, or did you feel kind of silly? I know, you feel kind of silly until you get around a, around a bunch of people who do it too. Just show, next time, just show them the video. But even, you know, having an artifact, having something visual is really helpful. Right? We want to do things like perform usability testing, like we're going to be doing in your group project. And still remember all of those usability guidelines that are out there. All the things we've learned in this class are things that you can incorporate into your designs. Now, we already talked about the five characteristics of usability testing. Should I test you on it and see if you remember them? I don't know if that's a yes or a no. Sure, I got a sure up here and a no back there. OK, no it is. Well, just, you know, but basically, you know, just remember what are these characteristics. Did I mention this makes a great exam question? So write down this makes a great exam question. So remember, things like, you know, what is the goal of the testing? We want to use real users, real tasks. We want to actually observe our participants. Now, in talking about all of this usability testing, right, I kind of talked about it as kind of this one type of testing. And it actually isn't. There actually are different types of usability testing. There's something that's called formal usability testing. Now, with formal usability testing, it's a little bit more akin to what we would do in terms of scientific research with different goals. But in formal usability testing, just as in scientific research, you tend to use very large sample sizes. Right? So you're going to have a lot of participants. You're going to be very, very detailed and very, very careful about your methodology, your test construction. Right? How you implement your tests, the environment that you are conducting your tests in. They tend to be very, very rigorous. And they're very rigorous so that then you can go and you can do a lot of statistical data analyses. And you can really make some generalizations about your users. Now, this has a lot of advantages in that it can really provide you a very broad understanding of your users. And it also can be really cool. Because when you have formal usability testing, these days when you go out to industry, you find companies have their own custom-built usability labs. They have the one-way mirrors. Have you guys seen the one-way mirrors before? Hopefully not at the police station. But... All right, so there's one-way mirrors. They have cameras everywhere. Right? They, they make it look all very nice and comfy, hopefully. So they will have cameras that record the screen. They'll have cameras that record the, the user's face, the hands. I mean, they just have them all over the place. Now, one of the things that I found really interesting was I actually got to see a couple of the usability labs, usability testing labs at Microsoft. Now, Microsoft, of course, has lots of money, so they had some of the coolest stuff. So what they did was they actually showed me one of their old labs with the 
old technology. It was like two years old. And then one of the new labs. So you walk into the old lab, and let me tell you, they're like cameras like in your face. Camera here, camera here, camera there. They recorded everything. They're like, yeah, this is the old one. A little intrusive. Then they showed me the new one. Oh, it's like a living room. You walk in. It's beautiful, well decorated, and you could not tell where the cameras were. But they were everywhere because they pointed them out to me. They had them on the screen. They had some pointing at the, you know, at the mouse and the hands. They actually had a sofa that they had people use tablets on that they had a couple cameras so that they could, you know, videotape them. They had them apparently you know, in the walls and the ceiling and it was really, really impressive. I wanted to live there unless they were videotaping me. And so they actually spend a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of resources doing formal usability testing. Because it can give them a lot of information about a broad number of participants. 